the journey from Napak District Headquarters to Lokopo Subcounty is a dusty 14-kilometer drive. 18 people are reported to have died of hunger in this subcounty since the beginning of the year. <laughs> we were given a warm reception by Lokopo residents upon our arrival in Lorikitai village. The people live here communally in homesteads called Manyatas. These four Manyatas have a minimum of 80 households each. <laughs> the smiles we had quickly faded as we cast our gaze on the first grave of a person who died of starvation. This is the grave of a 40-year-old man identified as Philip Lokamor. He is said to have died of hunger in the first week of April. <coughs> the last two years now, uh, two years. they have not received food uh, for work. Just as the grim reality of drought started sinking in our minds, we were told that what we had seen was the tip of the iceberg. We saw another grave in a nearby Manyata. Now here lies the second grave that we are seeing here today. This grave belongs to a 60-year-old woman who is believed to have died because of drought. The ash you're seeing on top symbolizes the culture of these people and the rocks in front is the place where her head is lying. We headed to the next village of Lopeta just 200 meters away and stumbled across a freshly dug grave. We were told that this grave is of an eight-year-old woman called Albina Lomu who died a few days ago. In the neighboring Manyata we find yet another grave where a woman identified as Nakong Nakoro was buried. She's reported to have died in the first week of March. Recently our daughter also got bad and then the child died because the, 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 the mother could not get the milk for for breastfeeding the, the child. The affected uh, most special the elders and then women who are vulnerable there are like 1,782 there. So now, because these vulnerable are given food, these people who have no food also come and survive on this very total food that's given to the most extremely vulnerable people. We drove 20 kilometers from Lokopo to Lomerimong village in Ngoleriet sub-county. It is here where we found the widow of a man called Moru Naitupas, who is said to have died on the 14th of April. His widow has very little to say. The locals have sad tales of difficulties that they have undergone in the dry spell. All we need is food. At this point, it dawned on me that the drought that hit Ngoleriet sub-county was the most underreported tragedy in this part of the country. Six parishes were severely affected by famine, with the latest victim having died on the 2nd of this month. Since 18 have uh, died, eh? mm. so the, there are many which are in bad condition. Mm. There are many. We even raised this matter in Parliament and we have written it to the ministers. What I believe should be done is for the government to expeditiously send support, food relief support, at the same time while supplying the seeds. In the second part of our drought in the park, I speak with people who are on the brink of death. Suhail Mugavi, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs>